Welcome to STAB exam forum. We have come up with another video on let's solve PYQ and this video is for those candidates who are preparing for ISRO assistant, UDC and junior personal assistant. Okay. So today uh, we will see general English section from question number 20 to 40. In the earlier video we have solved question from 1 to 20. Okay. So if you have not watched that video, you can have a look on that. Okay. So let's begin this session without any delay. So the first question is on your screen and your time starts now. So in this question, uh, you need to choose the one which is closest to the opposite meaning of the underlined word. What is the underlined word? Deliciated. Okay the club meets on the last thursday of every month in a dilapidated palace okay student uh, the meaning of dilapidated means broken down okay if anything is broken okay broken down it is called dilapidated dilapidated okay so the opposite of broken down as you know is renovated so option d seems to be the most appropriate one let's see the correct answer the correct answer is option d okay coming to the next question and your time starts now the question says uh, you need to pick the correct synonym of the given word the word is eradicate a very simple one okay you must have heard the statement like we need to eradicate the poverty what does this mean we need to eliminate the poverty okay so eliminate is the correct answer for this question okay so those candidates who have given option b as their answer they are right okay let's move to the next question and your time starts now so in this question uh, there are two statement and uh, some words are underlined okay you need to pick the word that can be replaced on these two sentences okay he worked out for an hour in a gym in spite of all provocation he maintained utmost presence okay so the meaning of worked out here and meaning of maintained here must be same okay so as you know out of these four options if you see exercised seems to be the correct one he exercised for an hour in a gym every day whereas the other meaning of exercise means to use the utmost patience okay so he exercised the utmost patience okay, so option d is the correct answer for this question okay quickly moving to the next question it is from the one word substitution one word substitution and here it is very common the use word to remove the skin of a potato of an orange okay there is a special word for this particular uh, statement what is that peel okay we generally peel the potato we generally peel the orange we generally uh, peel the any vegetable okay so peel is the correct answer for this question a very simple one right coming to the next question to surround with armed forces okay so if you are here and you are surrounded with the armed forces the meaning or the one word substitution for that word is besiege okay just remember besiege is the correct word so option d is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question you have to choose the correctly spelled word okay this is uh, from the spelling and corrections okay you need to choose the correctly spelled word okay so you can state away eliminate few of them like etiquettes you know this seems to be the very uh, wrong, odd one etiquettes is not the is etiquettes so this you can eliminate etiquettes you should be there so it should be eliminated so option b is the correct answer let's see the answer option b is the right answer okay so in these type of question you can use the elimination strategy 
okay elimination strategy okay let's see the next question again it is from the misspelled word and this time you need to choose the miss wrongly spelled word okay previously we need to choose the correctly spelled word now we to need to choose misspelled word so out of these four options let's see one by one aerial well and good this uh, spelling is right aesthetic again this spelling is right adulation uh, this is again right so we are left with adamant as you know this is this should be a so adamant a is the correct answer so those students who have given option a as their answer they are right let's see the next question again uh, this is from the wrongly spelled word and these are the four word let's see one by one procession it's right profession it's well and good possession yes it is good as you can see occasion the spelling of occasion is o c c a s i o n not double s so option a is the correct answer okay let's see the next question it is from the idiom and phrases it is from the idiom and phrases and the idiom or phrases like a red rag to bull okay as i told you many time whenever you face idiom and uh, proverb just don't go with the direct uh, meaning okay there is some st strategy like whenever there is a red rag to the bull he got provoked okay so out of these four option what does uh, this provoke include in that let us see caution against danger no red rag uh, is a caution but it is red rag to a bull so bull got irritated after seeing this red rag so option b if you see a cause of irritation so bull got irritated after seeing red rag so bull got provoked after seeing red rag so option b should be the correct answer and option b is the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the active passive for these type of question you need to remember the rules as i told you several time you should know the rules if you know the rules you can easily do that question okay so as you can see this is in active voice we hope that we shall win the match you need to convert into passive so this is in future okay so you should know how to convert uh, these future sentence into passive of that future okay so the in these uh, future tense you need to convert like this it should be like that it is hoped that match will be won by us so future should convert it to be future in passive also so option a is the correct answer okay understood for these type of question you need to see the rules student that is only the thing that you should remember coming to the next question it is similar to the previous question again it is from uh, the future tense okay so the answer should be in again in future but it should be the passive form okay so out of these four option i shall be obliged to go by circumstances seems to be the correct one and it is the correct answer okay let's see the next question it is from the filling the blanks let's see and uh, this is from the filling the blanks from preposition okay preposition so student just go through the rules from preposition the passenger were very happy dash the friendly warm treatment given to them generally we try to fit with the words okay we generally go with with okay but with is not the correct answer why i will tell you so whenever there is a from from means there should be a beginning okay to means there should be some end okay with means something relation okay about means when something is happened you are telling that so option d uh, seems to be the valid one for this particular statement although with is seems to be appropriate but this is not the correct uses of preposition okay the passenger were very happy about the friendly and warm treatment given to them see some uh, warm treatment is given to them so they were happy about that uh, treatment 
okay because that was happened with them so they are happy with that okay so option d is the right answer let's see the next question the police wrongly charge him yes it is very simple one charge him for murder okay so option a is the right answer it is from the superlative okay first he was suspended then he dismissed he state is from what good to bad bad to worst worst to worst bad to worst so whenever first he was suspended so it is already in worst condition okay uh, he is already in bad condition or worst condition then he dismissed so his state is from either you can choose b or c okay but bad to worst is not correct good to bad is not because if one was suspended uh, his state should not be good right so uh, from my perspective worst to worst is the correct because uh, this become worse because he was suspended so after that he was dismissed so option c seems to be the valid one okay so option c should be the right answer let's see the next question it is from the antonyms antonyms okay and the word is abundant as you know we have abundant resource and the opposite of abundant is either limited or merge but here you can choose merge because it is very very less okay it is very very less quantity whereas abundant is very uh, some quantity is there but merge is the most opposite of this abundant to be limited is although uh, it's opposite short is also opposite but merge is uh, much opposite to all of these options okay so option d is the correct answer let's see the next question it is from the synonym or you can say one word substitution the word is phonetics what is the meaning of phonetics so phonetics student remember it is the science of speech and sounds okay so whenever you see the word phone it means it is related to speech and sound so option d was the correct answer let's see the next question it is from the filling the blanks okay unlike the shakespeare play the closet drama uh, of the 19th century were meant to be dash rather than acted student the closet drama are the drama which uh, are meant to be done alone okay closet means in the close environment so 19th century uh, plays were meant to be read rather than acted okay why read because of this word closet drama okay so option b is the correct one let's see the next question student this is again from the filling the blanks and uh, from my perspective uh, there could be two option two answer for this particular question and uh, it these are b and d oh, why if you put uh, the statement like st uh, scientists often say that it is not politician or economist but they have the answer to the prosperity and happiness of life on earth or it is not politician or economist but it is they who have the answer uh, to the prosperity and happiness of life on earth so option d uh, is more appropriate but i have given correct answer for this particular question both b and d i am also not sure but i think option d should be the correct answer for this particular question okay so you can also check it out and if you have a correct answer you can tell us in our comment box okay let's see the next question uh, this question is from the category analogy plus english where you need to find the relationship between these two words so as you know in any meeting there is an agenda okay so out of these four option a program has always a schedule a chapter has a list index and content are nowhere related they are part of a book preface and forwards are also not correct so we are left with option a and option a is the right answer let's see the next word uh, the word is obstinate and from this word you need to find the synonyms okay 
synonym is a word which is best expressed the meaning of the given word okay and this is a very common word and the meaning of obstinate is stubborn so if you are stubborn you are you may it means you are obstinate about that particular thing okay so option a is the correct answer coming to the next question a very commonly word again audacity okay again you need to give the synonym of then given word okay synonym the synonym of audacity is boldness so if you have if you are bold then you have audacity to do that thing and the opposite of audacity is fear okay so option b is the correct answer let's see the next question i think this is the last question the suspected couple was taken away from the airport through side entrance to police station for interrogation okay so taken away is also correct word but you need to choose the best one from these option okay so the meaning of whisk is to uh, do very quickly so option a seems to be the correct one let's see the answer and option a is the correct word since uh, the suspected couple so they should be taken away very quickly so option a whisk should be the correct answer let's see the next question this is from the error detection error detection okay let's see the statement no sooner had the hockey match started when it began to rain okay it should be then it began to rain okay it is e n then begin to rain so option b should be the correct answer let's see the next question i think this should be the last question to keep under wraps means to keep something this is from the one word substitution or uh, better you call it as edm or phrases so whenever you are keeping under wrap it means you are keeping something secret okay you are keeping something secret okay this is the meaning of that edm i already told you don't go with the direct meaning so direct meaning is covered protected and unpacked okay the indirect meaning is secret and secret is the correct answer student uh, that's all we have covered question 20 to 40 for year 2010 we have already made various videos uh, on let's solve pyq for year 2010 2012 2014 and 2016 in youtube you will not find such video this is a great resource that we are providing you free of cost you can benefit from that video okay and i hope all of you are preparing very well for your upcoming isro assistant udc jp exam okay and we have also made a playlist let's solve pyq isro assistant you can have a look on that video it might be very beneficial for you okay so thank you for watching and if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box uh, we will be very happily to answer that questions okay thank you for watching have a nice day